So how can we translate the images in computer vision using OpenCV? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to translate an image using OpenCV library. First, I will explain the concept of translation as well as the translation matrix. And then later on, we'll see the implementation of a translation uh, using Python code and the OpenCV module. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also, we now have the AI University mobile app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this code right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So what is translation? Well, translation is an affine transformation and if you don't know what is affine and non-affine transformation then watch the video link of which is given in the i button above. As I told you earlier in the previous video, image translation is the process of moving the image to some other direction or coordinates such that every point in the image is moved in the same direction and at the same distance to form the image. In layman terms, translation is a process of moving an image in the right, left, up, down or diagonal directions. If you have not watched that video, then you can find the link of uh, that in the i button above. Now see this image here. If I move it to the right hand side, then coordinates of all these four points will change to new one. Please note that we are moving all the points or coordinates in the same direction that is to the right and at the same distance. Now, in order to translate an image, you need a translation matrix first. This is how a translation matrix look like. And you might have uh, read about these kind of matrix in your high school days, right? Here, TX and TY tells us uh, about the shift along X axis, that is horizontal direction, and shift along Y axis, that is vertical direction respectively. TX and TY are the directions uh, such as left, right, up, down or diagonal where the shift will take place. So let's see how can we uh, do translation using OpenCV module. So here you can see that uh, we have our translation matrix format and first we will import our familiar CV2 and NumPy modules here. In the next line, we are reading our uh, image using imread function, giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as input image. Then I'm using imshow function here to show the original image. In the next line, we are trying to extract the height and width of the image uh, using shape function. We are applying this function on input image and taking first two elements from it, which depicts height and width. In the next line, I'm uh, just uh, printing the values of height and width to show you the corresponding dimension values of the image. Uh, then in the next line, we are defining the TX and TY elements of the translation matrix T. TX, which is uh, the width represented by TX and TY, which is the height represented by TY. This is nothing but the distance in terms of pixels we are uh, trying to shift an image. We are translating the image by 1 by 4. In the next line, we are trying to create our translation matrix. The data type of uh, these elements is float32. And within uh, the brackets, we are defining the elements for our translation matrix, right? Right here. So in our translation matrix, we saw that in the first row, we had elements 1, 0 and TX. And in the second row, we had 0, 1 and TY. These are those elements only, okay? In the next line, I just uh, printed the translation matrix T to show you how it looks like. You can see that the TX and TY are just one fourth of the height and width, right? So 
थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इज़ नाइन्टी एंड सिक्स फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई वन सिक्सटी इज सॉरी सिक्स फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इज वन सिक्सटी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दिस वार्प अफवाइन फंक्शन टू ट्रांसलेट एन इमेज यूजिंग ट्रांसलेशन मैट्रिक्स टी दिस फंक्शन टेक्स सेवरल आर्गूमेंट्स नंबर वन इज इनपुट इमेज वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसलेट नंबर टू इज ट्रांसलेशन मैट्रिक्स टी then we have a tuple of width and height of the image which we extracted earlier and then i'm using uh, i am show function here to show the translated image usage of weight key and destroy all functions we already know from previous video uh, link of which is given in the i button above so let me run this cell once again so when i run this cell you can see that this is my original image and this is my translated image okay so this this has been translated here all the points move through the same direction so this is the way we do translation so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the computer vision using open cv series and here is today's question what is the significance of element values tx and ty in the translation matrix please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching. Thank you.